time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where is it at? Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E E K O I Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this reaction video started. Y'all know I love my India. I love my India, my India people, my India subscribers, all of them. And I'm my Bollywoods and my Tollywoods and my Kali's and, and the Mollies, all of them. Well, I got this request. And this is about, they asked me to 10 facts, the 10 biggest lies about India. I want to see what they lying about my place for. We got to check this out. Y'all ready to do this with me? I got to find out what they trying to lie about my place for. Y'all ready? Let's go. Go. India has the second largest population in the world next to China. And not to mention even the amount of Indians that, that have immigrated lie. to other countries. And with a lot of people come they don't a lie. lot of different stereotypes, misconceptions, and oh, see. lies. Oh. Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Lyra Kenton, and this is the latest episode in our Biggest Lies series. We've done them about several other countries before. Oh, this is and about... I found 10 for India. So let's just oh, jump let's, into everything. Let's find so out. The lie at number 10 is Indian is a language. I mean, it's Hindi. Oh my God! Like, can it's... you speak Indian? Speak <sighs> Indian? No, 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 no. Hindi. No no, 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 no. Indian is not a language. It's a nationality. Okay. I know that. And there are hundreds of languages actually spoken throughout India, and the language of English and Hindi are the most See? widely spoken languages. I know my and Actually, Indian. that leads me to the next mm -mm, lie. I know it. Indians speak Hindu. Okay, guys, you know, a lot of people get confused with right. the religion of Hindu. And oh, the they're trying to say it's the, the religion. Hindi. Well, I so got it right, Hindi didn't I? You know, religion, I get everything wrong. And Hindi is the the language. I called it the but Hindi yeah, language. Definitely be surprised that many Indians don't even they ain't going to get me with these lies. They speak languages of the Dravidian origin. And as a matter of fact, no Hindi Dravidians. isn't even taught in many of the schools in India. What? Also, every region has its what own set them? of languages. And Hindi is spoken in its purest form in the northern sections of India. Oh, now, the next slide okay. is... Indians are poor, but they're happy. Like, so I guess this one comes from watching different well, movies and TV this. shows. Well, you know, like what the movie Slumdog Millionaire. I was well, gonna say the Slumdogs, but I know. Because mm -hmm. I know my people. I know my people. Basic peeps. categories like there's the poor, there's the middle class, and then there's the rich. And Just even like the rich. There's a lot of poverty in the country. The biggest economic group is the middle class. They live great lifestyles yeah. and have amazing homes as well. Also, some of the richest people in the world live in India. So to assume that it's just a poor I've country, seen their houses too, place, remember? Being poor, that is just I did a video up about lie. that. Mm -hmm. The next one is Indians are uneducated. Oh, that's a big lie. One of the most inaccurate stereotypes. Yeah, see, Indians they don't get me with these lies. Educated. They don't mm -mm. just work they ain't at They don't get me with these lies. Stores, you know? Indian educational system is a oh, very look at those important desks. part to the country. Even poor families <laughs> from different villages strive <laughs> to make their children that's have the best like education. The desk, yeah. There's a lot of doctors and engineers that. that come out of India. Yeah, as well yeah. as people with MBAs and PhDs, all they sorts of major me with these lies. and business people. The education system in India is very competitive well. and challenging. And I've heard that it's even more challenging than some of the schools over here in the West. I'm so yeah, sure. anyways, bottom line, <laughs> they don't teach us nothing over here, I should say that. India. <laughs> now this other one kind of ties into the previous IT slide, expert. These are dumb lies. Indians are IT experts. People really believe this? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I've gotten those IT calls from India that are just straight up scams. But yeah, this is another big lie. Indians have showcased people a better lot not of different believe talents all these lies. in various fields. I feel like this the is information technology field, of course. But yeah, there's a lot of popular I feel like from this India, right like here. Chopra, she's an actress and a singer. Um, prime Minister Narendra Modi, he's Pia into Modi. politics and he's the current Prime Minister of India. Dhoni, who's big into sports, he's a major cricket player. And I'm Marcus Sen is known in the field of literature. Oh, I didn't so, know yeah, him. A whole sea the literature of guy. I knew all of them, but the literature guy. Halfway in at number five, all marriages are arranged by Indian parents. And in all honesty, if you go to India and you speak to but the they, families do they there, even do any of them? quite liberal in who their children marry. I, I mean, I figured that, but I wonder if they, do, they do any arrangement? A huge rise 
in love marriages. You know, people just get married because they really love each other. Have nothing to I do didn't with even know they but still do the arranged. Yeah, marriages aren't really forced upon the kids these days. Although, yes, it is a big dream and wish and a hope and prayer for a lot of Indian parents, like many other countries, for their kids to get married. It's a big lie to say that they're all forced. Now, but I are any still? I don't know that. This week. Indians are vegetarians because they worship cows. No, so I know this because it's only one. It's the Muslim. Because they got the two. They had the Hindus and the Muslims. I mean, like Indians, they eat buttered chicken and kebabs with beef. But it's the it's with the it's with the religion because as well as non. I forget which religion is it. Really, is he gonna tell us? In the country of India, there's also a belief that Indians yeah, worship millions tests. of gods, 330 million gods to be exact. Now, these gods and goddesses have multiple heads and hey, arms. arms. And that. So, I know like, that. What kind of thing is going on here in the religion of Hinduism, which is the largest religion in India? But not many people know that while Hindus do believe that God is in everything, it's all a manifestation of one source and creator of reality, which uh. they refer to as Brahman. So there are living oh, and non-living thing is viewed as sacred. I like the couple Each of, of the gods things. and goddesses in Hinduism also represent individual aspects of Brahman. So for example, oh, Ganesh is worshipped for Ganesh. good fortune and removing all And they put the statue in the water. Hinduism doesn't actually prescribe any sort of set path for people. Rather, the followers focus on building their own genuine connection with God. And they can pick and choose whichever deity they feel to worship, which all represent an aspect of the one true God anyways. Oh. Now, so the second right lie is Indians, Indians do. all do yoga and say namaste. But some so do. there's been a huge growth They're in saying every spirituality, of them. especially in every... the West. And it's brought a lot of different views up in terms of spirituality from India. These are Yet dumb the lies. <laughs> I'm not, even I know these answers. It's a centuries old tradition that is practiced in India. Also, not everyone in India incorporates yoga into their daily lives. I would and like to. namaste is a very integral like part in the Indian culture, it's no longer a universal greeting in modern Indian society. Oh, it was a universal Normally, greeting before. I didn't know that. Used in formal gatherings or when people are interacting with elders. It's also most common oh, where they the speak elders. Hindi in its truest form and you'll find that in oh. North India. Now, the final thing is misconception, stereotype, and lie about India. No in toilets! India has no toilets. <sighs> I hear this one all the time. Really? I've never heard of this in my life. I see them in the comment section. You guys are like what? terrible sometimes towards Indians. Anyway, there's <sighs> another story though but yes you'll Why find that there's many that? squatter toilets in india and also many places don't have toilets however the government of india claims that the situation has been improving rapidly since 2015 this is due to the swash campaign and according to the latest numbers only five percent of the total population of india have no access to toilets at all Where they and that is far from all in the, in the woods? having no toilets. Okay, guys, so those in are the pot? biggest misconceptions. I've never heard of that. Just straight up lies about <laughs> India and Indians. Let me know down below in the comments section what other lies do you he know says about. funny in the comments also, section. Comments I'm not going to that, say that at the end. I look forward to seeing them join on the conversation down below. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I highly recommend All right, for you. Well, to wait, wait, right? All right, we'll look at that later. Because I'm still stuck on this toilet things. First of all, I never heard that lie that India's don't, they don't have the toilets. I never even heard that. And he even said five percent of them that some of them still don't have the toilets. Where they where they squatting at? I didn't, I didn't even know about this. Well, it's a lie. Apparently, it's not. All right. So most of them. Listen, the expert here. The India, the, I know my India peeps and stuff. Most of that I knew the answers for, which I'm, I but I the toilet thing I didn't even hear about that. I didn't even know people even thought they didn't have toilets. I, I never, I never thought they didn't have toilets. I was like, they're gonna go to the bathroom. They had squatter holes. Is that the, instead of the toilet? It was like a squatter hole. I never even heard of that. <laughs> I never even heard of that. They didn't have toilets. I know though. I say I don't know if it's in India, but when I went to Europe, you gotta pay to go to some of the public toilets. I was like, you gotta pay to pee. <laughs> they make you pay to go to the bathroom. What if you don't have no money up in your pockets and you gotta go to the bathroom? Maybe that's maybe that's why people think they don't have toilets there. Because I I was because one time I was like, oh, I gotta pee so bad because I got a small bladder. I was going through some money having to pee to to go to the bathroom. 
But here they said no toilet. They thought they well, it was a lie, but they thought that they didn't have toilets at all. That people believe anything, don't they? <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself, though. I knew most of the answers for that, didn't I? I knew I was on it. I was like, oh no, it's this. Oh no, it's that. I'm becoming an expert. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe. Don't forget to do that. Thumbs, comments, all that. Until next time.